Welcome. My name is Anthony. I am the Elixir programmer. Today uh, we're going to talk about the top programming language programmers use for software development. Uh, first, you have to understand what is a programming language. A programming language uh, is a set of rules or instructions that human write for computers in a language that we can understand that gets interpreted to machine code so computers can understand us. Programming is all about data, data analysis, data transformation, and data generation. That means that every program will do some type of output to the user after the data is analyzed. Also, most programs will get some type of input from the user. Uh, there's a lot of programming languages out there and you might ask yourself why there are so many. Well, programming languages are not made for computers. They are meant for humans. We write code so other people can understand the source code. The programming language itself is in charge of interpreting the language to machine code. And so we don't have to worry about it and that makes our lives easier because uh, computers, they do not understand the uh, rules of the uh, programming language itself. Uh, computers, they only understand machine code. That's ones and zero, the binary uh, code that is really difficult for a human uh, to understand. It's not that we cannot do it, but it's uh, pretty hard. Programming can be fun if you really like it. I love technology and having the ability to create things with programming and software development in general. Every programming language has a purpose, it was created by someone that had a vision. If you go back in time, you had to write machine code and that was really painful. Or back in the 80s when you had to write your programs and programming sheets with a pencil. But now we have so many options that we are really privileged. We have the joy to use whatever we feel is the best tool for the job. So what is the top programming language that software developers use? The one they like or the one that fits better their needs. We are all free to choose whatever we want. Do not overthink it, just do it. Everybody argues and fights over which one is the best language or which one to choose, but it really doesn't matter. The language or the framework, just enjoy and be thankful of having the ability to talk to computers regardless of the tool that you use because at the end of the day, we're just communicating with computers and computers, like I said, I understand just one language that is machine code and all of the programming language out there do the same thing and they just give us the ability to communicate with computers otherwise it would be a really sad world if we all just speak machine code but it's really complex due to the hive mentality and tribalism of the human species we tend to choose a particular language or framework based on particular beliefs and lean towards what we think is better. Do not get carried away. People, when they, when they first start, they pick a, uh, one language and we'll tell you that's the best because that's why they know and people are afraid of the unknown. Other people also take advantage of the tribalism and profit off of that. And will swear by their language or framework because their livelihood depends on it. 
or the people that do it because of money and fame, not because they love it. They're just trying to make a living. And because of the ease uh, of the most popular programming languages, uh, because if a programming language or a framework is, pop is popular, everybody and their mama use it. Uh, so you don't really need to know exactly what you're doing to get things done because every question that you have is already answered. Uh, there will be a library for everything and a lot of support if you get stuck. Uh, you will have no problem of finding somebody that will answer for you. So if you just want to make a living or get a job, or you don't really like this and you just make it because you have to, then yes, in that case, your best option, it would be to pick uh, one language or framework that is really popular because it will be easier for you. Because if you pick or choose one that is not popular, you will really need to know exactly what you're doing because all the answers to your questions will not be out there and you will not have the same support. So you will have to have the knowledge to know what you're doing to uh, solve your problems or get things done. But um, we don't have to use all tools that used to solve all problems. We now have new problems. Uh, we have new tools that can solve it better. Choose wisely and have an open mind, but always remember that we live in a free world and we are free to choose whatever we like. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. And I would love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, let me know your thoughts on the comments down below.